How great is that turtle? Unbelievable. Hi guys. I'm here with Squeaks. Squeaks is a very special turtle to me. This is the first Joey Mida Japonica that I ever kept. And I've had him now for 11 years. And he has become a father here with us. And he is a member of a very important species that means a lot to me. I, I wrote a book about this species actually. So Squeaks is a Ryuku black-breasted leaf turtle. What's interesting about them is they're actually designated by the Japanese government as a national natural monument since 1973, if I'm not mistaken. So that's uh, that makes it so the species never left Japan legally. And now the ones that are here are kind of what's considered like the disease of the rotten tree. I'm sorry, the, the fruit of the disease tree, something like that. So basically, you know, when do does a species become Americanized? And we think about the ever popular bearded dragon. They never left Australia legally, or I should say virtually never. They've been protected since the 1960s. And somehow they made it here in the 1970s, 80s. And, you know, that's something that I've talked to Tom Crutchfield about. and something that really fascinates me. You know, when an animal becomes bred so much that no one really cares anymore and they could just be sold at Petco and PetSmart. But what's great about these is, you know, they're a hardier version than the ever popular Spangler Eye. I don't really look at them the same way. The Japonica get much larger than your than your average uh, Vietnamese black-breasted leaf turtle or Spangler Eye. And hatching them is a huge challenge, but we did just hatch some this year. So super excited to share that. We've hatched a couple. We have a few more eggs that are incubating and that's great. I mean, I, I wrote a book about them, but I still struggle to hatch them. This is a tough species to hatch consistently and doing so no matter how long you've worked with them is always a triumph and something to really be celebrated and something to be proud of and I certainly am. So we've hatched two so far this year from two different females, two new females that I've never produced before. So that's really exciting and I'm looking forward to hopefully having more success with them in the future. This is the first one that I ever hatched. You can see how absolutely gorgeous this turtle is. So in Japan, these turtles are called the Yamagame, which is which translates to mountain turtle. And this turtle's name is Yamagame because I thought that'd be a pretty gangster thing to call a turtle the first one that, uh, that I ever hatched out. So this hatched in 2021 and she's doing great. She is a female. Uh, all three animals that my partner and I hatched out in 2021 all turned out to be females, unfortunately. And males are a little bit rare, but we do have enough males. So in the future, we're just working on, you know, incubating them at a, a lower temperature. Temperature sex determination is not proven in this species, but we will do what we can. And you can hear her as I hold her. She's doing that kind of squeaking. Somebody just, just bought their first Japonica and... He reached out to me to say, geez, this turtle is always making these squeaking noises. Should I be concerned? Is this a sign of respiratory respiratory illness? Uh, the male, who is the, the that large turtle that I showed you, who's also the sire, uh, the father of this animal, another, and he's another red japonica, which is in the wild about one out of every 50 adults, by the way. His name is Squeaks, actually, because when I first... He was the first animal I ever had, like I said, 11 years ago. And when I first worked with him, I could not believe the squeak noises that he made. So they do make a squeaky noise when they are handled. They don't love it. They also like to go to the bathroom on you, but this one has spared me. Spared me the bathroom, not the squeaks. How great is that turtle? Unbelievable. Subscribe, join the crew. Just turtles. There's always something new.